All right, so what you do, take some rice. You don't need a whole lot because this is one bite. You come over here. Just get a piece. Throw that in. Take some of this what we made over here. Throw that in there too. You wrap that. Bon appetit, suckers. Himalayan pink salt, few garlic cloves, black pepper, bay leaves into the boiling water. And these you just gotta, you know, you don't even have to take the paper off if you don't want to. Just either you can either chop them, break them in your hand, toss them in there, um, let it all come to a boil, and then we'll go ahead and we're gonna add the pork belly to it. So there's the pork belly. Normally I'd have bought it as a whole, but it was a little bit cheaper. They already had cut it up. Kind of, I guess it makes it a little bit easier. I would have did this anyway. But this is gonna go into the uh to the to the brine. Yeah, buddy. Pork belly is now in the hot brine. Like I said, 15, about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Let it sit. Alright. I'm gonna pat it dry when it's done, take it out. We're gonna go ahead and throw it into this right here. We're gonna add a little bit of Chinese five spice. That's not normally how we would do it, but uh, the way we're gonna be eating it is with, um, you know, lettuce wraps and some rice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do something with some um, Persian cucumbers that you guys will go ahead and see in a little bit. So we're gonna season it with uh, this total seasoning here. A little bit of Chinese five spice. Black peppercorn. I'm so I forgot to show you guys this. Um, I'm going to also make this too. So this can go into the wraps. Uh, but all it is is Persian cucumbers, green tomato. Um, and I'm going to chop up a uh, red onion. Black pepper will go in there. Um, you know, some Himalayan salt. Maybe some, uh, some fish sauce. Uh, and that's really going to be about it. Um, oh, and some garlic. Chop up some garlic and throw that in here too. Um, so it's almost like a little pickling type of thing, you know, that'll be going on. But this green tomato is not a tomatillo, okay? This is from my tomato tree, a better boy tomato tree. Um, when the winds were blowing real high, knocked my plant over, and uh, this one wasn't ripe yet. But um, I'm not going to put it to waste. So, you know, it's got a little tartness to it, which actually will go good with this. All right, so... I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Again, this is uh, Persian cucumbers, green tomatoes from a better boy tomato. It's not a tomatillo. It just was an unripe green tomato. Um, red onions, garlic, uh, black pepper. Um, I put some uh, fish sauce in here, about three capfuls. Um, a splash of vinegar, maybe about one capful of vinegar. Some Himalayan pink salt. Um, and that's it all. And then, uh, you know, a dash of some sugar, you know what I mean? It'll cut through the tartness, you know what I mean? Uh, but that's it. So this will also, you know, it's kind of like a little pickling, you know what I mean? Can eat this with all kinds of different stuff, but it goes well with, you know, these, uh, wraps that I'm going to make. Um, you know, I've made this for other dishes very similar minus the green tomatoes and stuff like that there's another uh filipino dish where we do something similar uh but it doesn't have the cucumbers in it. it'll just be onions tomato soy sauce black pepper um, and a little bit of vinegar um and that's kind of just like a all-around all-purpose condiment you know but you know i'm a chef you know what i mean so you know we do different things you know got a wide palate so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, show you guys what that looks like in a minute. Bang. There it is. 
all mixed up. I just took a little taster. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right. Pork is out. As you can see, skin's still on. I'm going to throw this in the uh, air fryer. And it's going to crunch up. You know what I mean? Call that lechon kawali. Um, you know, putting a little twist on it, though. So this has all come out of the boil. You know, it's still steaming hot. You can still see the steam coming off it a little bit. So I just got it in here because we're going to go ahead and pat it dry. And then we're going to season it. All right. So I'll show you guys that in a second. All right, there you go, all seasoned up. Again, just simple black bell pe uh, black um, black pepper, um, total seasoning, and a little bit of Chinese five spice. All right, so that's it. It's all mixed up. Season it well, because these are thick. They're gonna then be sliced into pieces. That you can go ahead and put inside of the lettuce, a little bit of rice, that pickling stuff, <clears throat> and you got yourself a good little bite. You know what I mean? Semi healthy, you know. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and load it up in the air fryer. Skin side up. You got these little pieces. Just gonna throw them in wherever. Get in where you fit in. Alright. Set them in the air fryer for about I'm gonna set it for about 40 minutes at about 370, 375. And then uh, you know, we'll check it midway through. Alright. All right, there it is, done. So really about 35 minutes in there, this is what we get, all right? So you're gonna take some of that pork, you're gonna put it in a lettuce wrap, this is red leaf lettuce, all right? Boom, you're gonna scoop a little bit of rice into it, pop it in your mouth and enjoy, oh, don't forget to go ahead and sprinkle some of that on top. 